So, and um, today I will be using the selfish method to find the Egyptian fraction for 9 over 11. So Egyptian fractions are unit fractions. They are basically, you know, 1, one over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4 are all Egyptian fractions. And so basically the selfish method is the way to... Egyptian fractions are uh, sorry. The selfish method method is to find Egyptian fractions, but you always start with the largest Egyptian fraction, uh, with the largest unit fraction you can eliminate from the original number first. So usually we would start with half because half is obviously the largest unit fraction there is, and so yeah. Sorry, I mean this is a minus. Sorry, this is a minus, and so let's start with that. So in order to subtract these two, you need a similar, I mean, the same denominator. So let's make the denominators the same now. 22, 22, and the numerators would be 18 and 11. I assume you already know how to add these fractions, so I don't have to explain. Anyway, <coughs> uh, okay, so, um... This will give you 7 over 22. Okay. Now, um, why I'm subtracting this with 1 over 2 is because we need to keep um, eliminating. I mean, we need to keep subtracting it with unit fractions until we end up with a unit fraction. And then we'll have you know, our answer. Anyway, uh, yeah. So far we have 1 over 2 as our only unit fraction so far, so that means we only have 9 over 11 equals to 1 over 2. But we're not done yet because there's because 7 over 22 is not a unit fraction, and so we still need to keep going. And so uh, um, to, to um, find the unit fraction that is that the largest unit fraction that's still smaller than 7 over 22, which is 1 over 4. Um, if we use a large, I mean, a larger fraction than 1 over 4, and then we need to, for example, like 1 over 3, you, may, you need to make the denominators the same. And once you make the denominators the same, it would probably, um, the numerators will be, um, 1 over, the unit fraction will end up having a bigger numerator than the original fraction which is not what we want. So, we're gonna go with 1 over 4. And so, we need to make, again, we need to make the denominators the same. So that will be 44. Numerators will be 14 over, and 14, and 14, and 14. So again, we minus that. Okay, so then we have 3 over 44. Now, this we have another unit fraction here, which is 1 over 4. So that is our answer so far. 2 plus 1 over 44, not subtract. Okay. Sorry, 1 over 4. Uh, anyway, 3 over 44 is not a unit fraction, so we still need to keep going. And the largest unit fraction that's still smaller than 3 over 44 is 1 over 22. And so, we, we again make the denominator the same. That will be 3 over 44 and that will be 44. It will stay the same. And we subtract that, and we'll end up with 1 over 44. And we are finished because 1 over 44 is a unit fraction, which we can't um, further eliminate anymore. So notice how we have two more unit fractions here. So that means, sorry, I'm just going to see. No, we have 1 over 44 and 1 over 2. So that means our answer is 9 over 11 equals to over 2 
plus one over four plus one over four plus one over twenty two plus one over forty four and we are done. Thanks.